Yo, yo, will this one support the platform? It's absolutely free to hit the like. I'd appreciate that. Blessings. So this DJ in Houston had a horrific fall, fam. I mean, horrific. I couldn't even imagine, especially because of the fact that people having their suspicions about how and why it really happened. So her real name is Darian Lewis, but they call her DJ D-Baby, right? She's known in the Houston area, Houston, Texas, because she would sometimes work for big name celebrities. So obviously when you network with celebrities that have a certain status, that's going to bring some notoriety to you, right? Okay. Now, as horrifying as it sounds, this girl fell from a 13th floor balcony. Now, she didn't fall the whole 13 floors down. She only fell four floors down from the 13th floor onto the 9th floor pool deck of the apartments she was at, right? Early morning hours. She was rushed to the hospital, and for 10 days, she was unconscious, critical condition, and she finally passed on 13 of July. So R.I.P. to her, man. R.I.P. to her. So, you know, after that, people are mourning. People are talking about it, spreading the news on social media. And then the speculation comes into play. Speculation on social media about the circumstances of this 23-year-old beautiful girl. Circumstances of her fall. And they start pointing fingers at the girlfriend, who without a doubt was there when she fell. Right now, the girlfriend, she released a statement on Facebook. She said, I have nothing to do with it. That's what she say in the post she had put up. She says that DJ D baby had been drinking. She stood on the balcony furniture, lost her balance and fell before she could get to her to help. And as far as the DJ's father, the only thing he had to say was, we're going to trust the system and we're going to let them do their job, you know? Now, just to throw this out there, when you think you know something about a person or when you do know enough about a person, especially in this situation, the first thing you would say is, no, no, I doubt she had anything to do with that. She's a nice girl. She's been dating my daughter for this amount of time, right? But you got people on social media or pointing the finger at her. So, obviously, there must be something about this girl that people feel is a little bit off, obviously. Because you don't just jump the gun and say, they killed this person. Because a lot of accidents happen. Why couldn't it just have been an accident? There had to be something they feel from this girl to make them think that she had something to do with it. Father said, we're going to trust the system and we're going to let them do their job. So somewhere in deep inside of that man, maybe he feel like that girl might have been responsible for his daughter's death, fam. I'm not accusing. I'm just going by what this article is saying. I know one thing, though. That's a sad way to go. 23 years old. Sound like she had the career she wanted. You know, networking with big celebrities. That's a, that's a bad way to go, fam. Obviously, he was living her life to the fullest and had even brighter things ahead. You know what I'm saying? But as of right now, obviously, you know, according to the Houston police statement, it just appears to have been an unfortunate accident. I'll just say this. If it turns out that it was more than just an accident, hopefully justice will prevail. Because nobody don't deserve to go out like that. You know? But in closing, just leave your opinions, thoughts, perspectives. Was this really an accident? I'm not jumping to conclusions. All I'm saying is I don't put nothing past nobody in this world. That's all. I'm going to leave it at that. Realist one, man. Support the platform. Hit the like. It's absolutely free. I'd appreciate that. Peace and blessings. I'm gone.